What's up you guys? So can you shoot astrophotography with the Nikon Z6 accompanied with the 24 to 70 f4? When I first bought this camera and it came with this kit lens, that was my biggest debate was to see if I could shoot the Milky Way with this lens at f4. I knew the high ISO capability of this camera was really good, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to answer the question of if we can shoot it at f4. So let's come into here. Alright guys, so we're in Lightroom. And I'm going to go back to when I first bought that camera and took my first Milky Way shot. So this right here was back in late February. This was the first Milky Way shot I took with the Nikon Z6 and the 24-70 f4. Um, the settings on this one were ISO 6400 at f4 and at 25 seconds. So you can see if I zoom one to one into the barn. So this is it at one to one. You can see in the upper left corner here how far this little box is zoomed in. And that's quite a bit. I mean, you do see some noise. This was shot at ISO 6400. And uh, it's a 25 second exposure. And I don't use long exposure noise reduction, so there might be a little bit of that in here too. But for an F4 at ISO 6400, that's not bad with how zoomed in it is. And then you zoom out, and I mean, I'd be definitely comfortable printing this up to 11 by 14. And then if we go up into the, let's go up to the edge here. This is the upper right corner of the picture. And that's pretty sharp. Yeah, so I mean, the disadvantage of the F4 is you got to crank up your ISO a little bit which the Z6 can definitely handle. But the advantage you get from that is this image is sh sharp pretty much all the way around. And on that same morning, here's another picture I took. This one's at ISO 5000. There's quite a bit of light pollution over here in that, that left side there. Uh, another one I took that morning. This one's kind of closer up to the trees. But I mean, the trees are all sharp, the Milky Way is sharp, then let's go to, this is going to be a picture I took last weekend, just right in my backyard, right here, drop these down just to, so this I shot at ISO 8000, at 24 millimeter, F4, 25 seconds, and look at this. You know, for ISO 8000, there is a little bit of noise. But I mean, look how far I'm zoomed in here. This box right here is what it's showing. You can even see a little bit of glare around that. I think that's Saturn. And you zoom out, I mean, that is... That's a pretty sharp image for ISO 8000. And then the trees are nice and sharp. I really like the contrast of this picture here. So yeah guys, just a short video on the Nikon Z6 accompanied with the 24-70 F4 for astrophotography. It's definitely possible. You don't gotta go right out and spend the $2,200 on the F2.8 version of this lens. Plus, look at the size of this thing. The f2.8 version is substantially bigger than this. So there's definitely something to be said about this lens. I actually have two of them now. One on this Z6 and I'm recording with the one on that one. I absolutely love this lens. I might do an all-around review of this lens. But as far as this video goes, I just wanted to stick to is astrophotography possible with this lens? And hands down, yes it is. I'm, I feel really confident shooting the Milky Way with this lens. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys.